Sam Wolf, and I'm Bree, and this is our 2020 History Day Fair project about the events leading up to the American Revolution. Hope you guys enjoy. Hello there. Hello. Looking for my father's will. His name was Sean Harrison. Sean. I'll be right back. are supposed to be free. But with the new stamp back from Britain, it will not be free. I'm not paying for that. Okay, you have a wonderful day. The Stamp Act was imposed by Great Britain's Parliament in 1765. And it required that all printed materials, such as documents and wills and all of that stuff, be posted with one stamp. And the stamp, they had to pay like three shillings. Yeah. Sure. They had to pay for the stamp, and that was a task that they really didn't like, and that was basically the start of the tensions that ignited the American Revolution. for anything under the sun. I'm not paying for that. Okay, wonderful. Give it back to me. You have a nice day. Goodbye. Townshend Acts were passed from about 1767 to 1768, and they taxed a lot of things, from tea, oil, paper, all the way to paint colors, and pretty much anything that was sold, they had a tax for. Boston Massacre happened March 5th, 1770. It's when British colonists were growing snowballs, rocks, even oyster cells at the British Redcoats because they were mad about their taxes. And it caused the British Redcoats to panic, get angry, and they shot upon the crowd, killing five colonists. Um, so, me and my friends have come up with an idea. My friends and I, so. Apologies. My friends and I have come up with an idea. You know the new, the boat that just came in from oh, the yes. office? Oh, yes. Yes. We are going to dress up like Indians, put these on our head, and dump all the tea overboard to show them a sign that we are not giving up. Sounds like a wonderful idea, sir. Thank you, sir. tax was passed on tea called the Tea Act that infuriated lots and lots of colonists and some colonists decided to dress up like red Indians and board a vessel carrying lots of crates of tea called Dartmouth and throw all those crates of tea overboard. This event became known as the Boston Tea Party. To have soup and live in your house for as long as I want. So, uh, no, get out of my house. What are you doing? Oh, you may not sit on my dog. Uh oh, I'm sorry, but I shall keep him now. He is mine. Get out of my house. Make now. me soup right now. Okay. Okay. Okay.
introduced in 1774 which allowed all British Red Coasts when needed to go in a colony's house for food and comfort. Look at this. So what are your plans to stop these taxes? Hmm. I plan that we can take some British soldiers hostage until they agree to our demands. Well that would just start even more of a problem. Yes, yes. Let's see. What would your plans be, delegate? I would Personally, I would boycott all of their things that they tax, not buy anything, and then eventually they'll stop because they'll be making no money from us. Yeah, that sounds like quite a wonderful idea. Okay. See? Do you think? First Continental Congress was held, was held on September 5th, 1774, and they discussed how to, what to do in response of all the British acts. from Virginia, and he was very outspoken about the need for the colonies to be independent from Great Britain. One day he held a speech in 1775, and everyone got really rowdy about it, and it was making a lot of people anxious to be independent. They're coming! The regulars are coming! The regulars are coming! The regulars are coming! The Rachels are coming! They're coming! Hi! They're coming! The Rachels are coming! On the evening of April 18th, 1775, Paul Revere and William Dawes were summoned to ride on to Lexington and Concord to warn the inhabitants that the British troops were coming to arrest Samuel Adams and John Hancock. Yeah, hey, you! In April 1775, out, just outside of Concord, British troops and American colonists were arguing at each other and out of the mist someone fired and that was essentially the shot heard around the world which marked the beginning of the American Revolution. Uh, we think this is related to the theme because this is literally the foundation of how America was formed. And it relates to civics and economics because it was the foundation of the American government. These people were forming the American government.